a very good morning students we are in our regular class lecture and the subject is mining geology and today's topic of discussion is some of the definitions of mining terms and for this topic i have referred the book the course in mining geology by r n p aroge sami and old deposits of india by gokhale and rao so let us get into the heading that is definition of some mining terms the first term that we are going to discuss is the ore that is the term ore is applied to an assembly of metallic mineral and gang which can be exploited at profit and most of the non metallic minerals are referred as industry mineral so the term ore implies that is that it is a metallic mineral deposit and if it is not a metallic mineral deposit then we can simply call it as an industrial mineral right is that clear so the second term is the proto that is quite obviously used in the previous uh, that is old writings now it may not be used but it simply means that in any primary mineralized material that is too low in tenor to constitute a ore but from which ore may be formed through secondary enrichment you might have heard about the placer deposits right so the source rock from which weathering had taken place and the geomorphic agent had separated and sorted out the mineral deposit such a source rock is also known as the proto ore right so the th third term is the gang that is in mining gang is the commercially worthless material that surrounds the ore or is closely mixed with the wanted material so that is simply known as the ore deposit right so the ore implies both metallic mineral deposit and the gang right so that is what it implies so the next term is the assay that is the percentage of valuable constituents in an ore body so that is what uh, term does an assay so let us talk about the assay value that is the quantity of an ore valuable constituents determined by multiplying its percentage that is the assay and the dimension that is its length breadth and height that is what we will get as a volume right so the volume into the assay will give us an assay value and for precious metals it is generally given in ounce per ton or for and for the gold the world gold council define the high quality underground mine as having a gold ore deposit that is between 0.28 to 0.35 ounce per ton so if uh, one ton of a rock if it contains say in the range of 0.28 to 0.35 uh, ounce of gold in it then it is considered as a high quality underground uh, high quality deposit and as you know one ton is equal to 32000 ounces so what they want to imply is 0.28 ounce per 32000 ounces is considered as a high quality mineral deposit especially for the gold so this is what an assay value is uh, in uh, that is what it means so let us see some of the other terms that is used in exploration as well as in explore, exploitation activities the first term is the exploration exploitation or mining so it is a process of extracting the ore or the economic mineral from the earth so if you found a mineral deposit that is in the surface of the earth or in the underground and if you are taking out that mineral deposit out of the earth surface that is from the surface and if you are processing on it then it is called as exploitation or simply mining the next term is the development that is the very first stage in identification of mineral deposit is the prospecting and exploration and uh, then after exploration and if you found out the area cover and the volume of ore deposit then you will go for the extraction right so the very first step in extraction of the ore deposit is the development so here are some of the parts of the underground minings uh, how it was termed as and what it is actually for so the very first term is the shaft okay so the shaft can be a vertical or inclined excavation which is either square or rectangle in section lined or unlined shafts are opening which serves as means for in and out an inclined shaft is called as inclines and coal mining the shaft which do not reach the surface is called as the blind shaft in the case of a vertical shaft these are termed as sub vertical so staple pit if the shaft is partially vertical and partially inclined it is termed as the compound shaft a shaft can be away from the ore body or a mineral deposit but connect by tunnel known as a cross cut so you can see here these are the two tunnels that is from the surface uh, 
to the underground so these are called as the shafts if the shaft is vertical then it is called as a vertical shaft and if the shaft is inclined then it is called as an incline or inclined shaft it may reach the surface or sometimes it may not reach the surface if it is not uh, reaching the surface then it is called as a blind shaft and from the shaft towards the whole body if you are making tunnels then it is called as a cross cut so that is what it mentioned here okay so next term is the hanging wall or the roof so if we consider a metal deposit which is a bedded uh, over body or a vein or seam the rock that is lying above the metal deposit is called as a hanging wall or the roof if it is in coal mining then it is called as a roof and if it is uh, any other metal deposit then it is called as a hanging wall the same thing if it lie below the metal deposit of any um, bedded a uh, vein or seam then it is called as a foot wall okay so this portion is called as foot wall and this portion is called as a hanging wall and this is a coal seam or a simply a vein deposit okay so the next term is adit that is a level driven or tunnel made from the hill side to meet the load or ore body occurring inside the hill it opens to the surface only at one end and the normal tunnel passes from one side of the hill to the other side so the main difference between a tunnel and adit is that a tunnel process from one side of the hill to the other side whereas the adit is something which is opened in one side and it connects to the whole body in the other side so this is an adit which is having an opening in one side and the other side is connected to an mineral deposit where you can mine it out okay so this is what an adit which is somewhat horizontal right okay so the next term is drive or drift so the drive or drift is also an horizontal tunnel parallel to the strike of the load or vein so this implies the term can be only used in an uh, bedded form or deposit or vein or something right but it can be located in the country rock either on the foot wall side or uh, the load or on the hanging wall side if it is in the foot wall side then it is called as foot wall drive and if it is in the hanging wall side then it is called as an hanging wall drive so these are the foot wall drives which is connecting the inclined shaft to the whole body which is somewhat parallel to the tunnel right this is synonyms to the level so the next term is the cross cut in mining and stratified deposit so here we are sort of talking about the vein or bedded form so this is an unstratified deposit which is not having any uh, geographic sorry uh, geometric shape right so this is an unstratified deposit the term cross cut is used to describe that tunnel or drive which leads to the leads from the shaft or level and passes through the country rock in order to intersect the load so this is an mineral deposit which is an unstratified deposit and it is a vertical shaft from the vertical shaft if it moves towards the whole body then it is called as a cross cut the next term is the tunnel is an opening which is nearly horizontal it may be circular or semicircular in cross section it is driven from one side of the hill and opens out on the other side any underground excavation either level or drive is called as a tunnel so tunnel is a generalized term as you know in engineering geology also you may have come across the term tunnel so that is opening on both side of the hill that passes through the hill okay and it can be sometimes used in unsynonyms with uh, drive or cut and uh, cross cut all those things then the term rise when from a level the load or ore body an excavation is made upward in the load to meet the level above the excavation is called as a rise in coal mining the term employed for describing such a working is called as rise gallery or simply working so this is the rise where the excavation is made towards the upper cross cut right so the uh, excavation is moving in a dip direction or uh, above the head of the working employee right so this is the rise and the next term is the winds when from a level the load a tunnel is made downward to meet the lower level the excavation is known as winds in coal mining term in coal mining the term used for describing similar working is called as dip gallery so if the working is uh, towards the next level or below level then it is called as winds if the working is towards higher level then it is called as a rise okay so this is what the difference between these two then there is a term called as wall bin it's an excavation that is lined with machinery or concrete 
underground or machinery construction of a specific design for storing ore mined from part of the mine. The ore bin may be located either on the main shaft bottom or at the top. So this is actually a bin that is used to store the uh, uh, what do you call it? the ex excavated ore bin deposits, right? So before transporting it to the surface, it is stored in some location within the underground mining itself. And that portion of the mine is called as an ore bin. Then there is a term called as chute, which is a lip or small channel shaped projection at the bottom of the hose stored bin. Uh, or from a stope where ore is stored. It enables the broken ore to be directly loaded into the tubs or mine cars or the skips. So the chute is uh, part of the ore bin. Okay. So through which uh, the stored ore can be transported towards the conveyor belt or uh, tubs or mine car whatever it is that is taking the ore deposit to the surface. So such a pathway for the stored uh, ore is called as chute. The next term is the stove. It is an underground excavation that is made for removing, the win removing or winning the ore. So if you make any excavation or digging out the mineral deposit, then such a process is called as generally stow, right? And if you make the stopping over your shoulder, then it is called as over hand stopping that is similar to your rise. And if the same thing, if you are doing uh, below your legs is called as under hand stopping, which is quite equivalent to the wings. Okay. Then there is a term called as a width is the width of the entire mineralized zone where a strongly mineralized uh, strongly mineralized or not in the case of a vein it can happen that the core may be yield very high uh, that is very rich value of the assay and then the walls it may be very low so completely it is calculated to get the assay width then there is a term called as cut off grade is the grade of the ore below which it is considered that the economic mining is not feasible. So hence it is uh, only ore with value above the cut off grade that is mined. So the cut off grade is the minimum uh, amount of uh, ore deposit that is, should be there so that the mining process can give us a profit. So if it is below that then they will not go going they will, they will not be going for the mining so these are some of the terms that we uh, want to share with you and as you might have feel that this confusing as there are so many terms out there what i did is i just grouped those uh, terms into three main categories that is the excavation orientation uh, with that orientation if the excavation is made outside the deposit what it is termed as and if the excavation made inside the old deposit what it is called as and this table is from the book Arugya Swami. So the first thing is if the excavation made parallel to the strike and if the excavation is outside the old deposit then it can be called as a foot wall or hanging wall drives okay so whatever the excavation that is parallel to the strike of the old body and if it is in outside the mineral deposit that is called as foot wall or hanging wall drive and if the excavation is inside the old deposit then it is called as level drives or sub levels or simply stove and chute level gallery in coal mining all these terms were implied for any excavation that is parallel to the strike of the ore body that is made inside the ore deposit the second classification is by which is uh, the excavation that is parallel to the dip okay so if the excavation is outside the mineral deposit then it can be called as a shaft in foot wall and hanging wall and if it is inside the old deposit then it is called as a rise and winds in inclined shaft dip or rise in galleries that is in terms of coal mining and if it is across the dip and strike that is if it is not having a relationship with the strike and dip and if the excavation is made outside the old deposit then it is called as a cross cut or vertical shaft or edit or even drift in terms of coal mining and if it is made inside the mineral deposit then it can be it can be called as a cross cut in terms of coal mining within the coal seam or cross cut wings or rise in terms of metallic mineral mining so this is what i just want to discuss with you in the class if you have any doubt you can dis discuss with me in the class and with this i am concluding this uh, video lecture 
Thank you.